Hey what's up guys welcome back to our YouTube channel and welcome to this video. So this is part 16 of our Laravel for Beginners tutorial series and in the previous video we have worked with user authentication and we have laid the modal relationships and in this video we're going to discuss about how to actually implement the user access control. So basically we're just going to add a feature that will just enable us to control which pages will our user be able to access. So in here, let's try to see uh, we have here in our project or homepage of our project. And as you can see, we can always um, access the post create. So if we go to post and then create. So we can already create a post even if we have or we are not logged in, right? So currently we're not logged in with our account and we can create a certain post, but we don't want that. The user should log in first before they can create a post. So also we can see that um, if we go to blog and then click the post, we can see the buttons and edit and delete even if you are not logged in as a user. So again, we don't want that. We want the user to log in first before they can modify, they can delete and create a post. So in order for us to do that, let's go back to our code editor and try to modify our project. If we go to the controller of our homepage, so app and then HTTP controllers, and then home controller we can see here we're adding the middleware oath in this construct method so we're just going to copy this for our other con uh, controllers so copy and then we're going to do the same thing for our post controller so that's post and then we're just going to paste the construct method or function coming from the home controller class again we're doing this just to control the access of the non login users so if you try to go back to our browser so if you try to go to slash uh, post and then create so we won't be able to create a post right now and it booted us out from the create form or create post form so uh, it says that we need to log in but there's a problem with this because if we try to go to our blog so it says that we need to log in just to view the blogs right so we don't want that and we just want to limit the access when we try to create a post so let's try to exempt the other pages for that so in here we need to pass in an array so this will be an array of pages that will be exempted. So accept and then the array or the actual array of pages. So it's going to be the index and of course the show page. So uh, save that and go to our browser. So we should be able to view the blog. So these are the posts and we can just, we can't access the create for now, right? Because we're not logged in. Posts should be, yeah, post and then create. So we try to log in by using our account. So log in. There you go. We can access the uh, create post. And now let's just solve the problem with the individual post. If we try to go to a single post, we can see even if we log out from this page. Log and then post. We can see the edit and delete buttons and we don't want that. We just want to see the post without these uh, buttons edit and delete so in order for us to do that let's go to the 
post so that's where is it resources and then views and uh, post and then show so where's uh let's go to this part right here when displaying the edit and the uh, delete button so i think we're just going to add a certain if statement here so oath and then not guest and then let's just say and if here so basically we're just limiting the access to these buttons and it should be gone there for now so uh, if you are not logged in and you go to a single post you can not edit and delete the post but if you try to log in by using our account so basically we should be able to have the uh, yeah edit and delete button so log out and go back to that particular post no edit and delete button but also we need to change uh, something here because we need to only show those edit and delete buttons if you are the owner of that particular post so let's go back to the show that play that PHP and in here we need to add another if so that will be if and then um, oath user so basically we're, we're just going to check if the currently logged in user is the owner of this particular post so that will be post and then the user ID so remember we are we added that particular attribute user ID by using the migration so and we're going to end the if statement here so there you go so you won't be able to access the edit and delete button even if you are logged in if you're not the owner of that particular post so so for example this one so we're not the owner or the currently logged in user is not the owner of this particular post so but this one is the one posted this uh, particular post so he should be able to edit and delete this post but we need to solve another problem here so as you can see we can edit this particular post but if we try to have like five here this is a post from another user so right so we don't need or we don't want this actual user or this particular user to be editing other uh, post or other users post so what we need is to go to our post controller and in our edit in our edit function we need to uh, have a some sort of check in here so below this one we need to check if the user or authenticated user meaning the login user uh, ID is not equal to the post user ID so again we're just checking if this particular login user is the owner or not the owner of the post so if is not the owner of the post so it should return uh, redirect and then we need to pass in the post it should redirect to the post page and then with an error message so error and then it should say unauthorized unauthorized page okay so save that and let's go back to our browser and try to uh, go to blog and then first post so the ID is 6 and then edit 
So if you try to have or put 5 in here, so it should say or it should redirect into the post page. But I think we don't have the error message here. So let's try to add that in our layout. So that will be from the layout and then app.play.php. We have to include the error messages or messages here in our page. So it should be here. So in here, let's just add the uh, messages layout. So include and then uh, inc folder and then messages. So it will refer to the inc and then messages that laid that PHP. So save this and let's go back to the browser and post edit and five. So it should say unauthorized page because we're not authorized to access this uh, post or this particular post and we cannot edit this because this is not the post or this is not a post of this team saw user so I think we need to do the same with the delete button also so let's go to the post controller and then we also have the destroy here so I think we're just going to copy the a logic that we have uh, used in our edit function and paste it here in our um, destroy function so after that so post so if both user ID is not equal to the post user ID so it should redirect to the post page and with an error message of delete so I think that's all there is to it for this tutorial and in this case, we have limited the user's capability when it comes to the posts that uh, do not belong to them. So see you in the next video. Thanks.